Hey friends, haven't been doing a lot of running around in my van lately. If you can hear that AC blowing, you know why. So hey friends, just kind of hanging out in the air conditioning today. This is Saturday of Labor Day weekend. I don't usually go camping on holiday weekends on the 4th of July, Memorial Day, and Labor Day because I find them really too crowded and really too hot. So, yeah, I, I usually pass on those weekends. So, I've spent this weekend getting a lot of things done so far. I got my van cleaned up and I got my oil changed and a couple other things. So, I am ready for my next trip, which will be next weekend. Um, also, I'm trying to edit a video from last weekend. I went... Uh, to Oklahoma to Lake Murray State Park and I had a really good time and I just kind of filmed the whole park well while I'm editing I'm like well this is kind of a boring video but it just shows the whole campground so I'll probably go ahead and finish that and get it up but yeah other than that I haven't really been doing a whole lot exciting other than watching a lot of YouTube videos myself so I thought I would just share with you a couple of the channels that I've enjoyed this last week or two. Um, like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube channels, and there's no way I could mention them all. But I just wanted to mention a few, like I said, that I've, I've kind of come to mind today and so um, that I wanted to share with you. So one of them is Neil. His channel is Teardrop RV Travels. He built his own little teardrop camper, and it's awesome. He did a great job. It looks really good. So he recently finished it, and he did a little video and showed it, um, you know, the inside and outside and everything he did. So I, I really enjoyed that one. And also, if you need to know how to rebuild your prosthetic leg, he might be the guy to go to there, too. <laughs> but no, it was a really great video. I really enjoyed that, Neil. Thanks. And then another video that I really, really liked was Kelly Doyle. She had a video, I think it was called a Scary Forest Road. And it was awesome. She had me on the edge of my seat for that whole video. It was really great. So if you have time, go check that video out. I'm going to put a link below to all the channels that I mentioned, just in case you do want to go check them out. Another thing that I've been enjoying that I really didn't think I would, um, Blind Views and Totally Kathy, they are Big Brother fanatics. They love to watch the show Big Brother. So they have like a a show that kind of tells you what happened the week before, what's going on, what they think is happening, what they think is going on in the house. I didn't think I'd like it, but as it turns out, it's kind of addictive. I really do enjoy watching their banter and hear what's going on on this show. It really does sound awesome. Um, if I can ever remember to watch it and turn on my TV, maybe I'll catch that sometime. Um, and then also, I love Thursday Thursdays with Blind Views. He does a live feed Thursdays, 6 o'clock Texas time. And it's really fun. It's just kind of like hanging out in a room with a bunch of your good friends. So I've been enjoying that on my Thursday nights. That's definitely given me something fun to do. So other uh, channels that I've really enjoyed lately. Oh, Lone Star Rider. He is doing a ride for the cure. He's uh, raising money all around the country for the Diabetes Foundation. And he is pulling a little teardrop trailer himself with his motorcycle. It's really awesome. And... Um, it's really fun to watch his adventures, and I'm glad that this is going well for him. So, if you want to hop over to his channel and cheer him on, that would be great. Another channel that I watch often is Road Trippin' Nomad. Um, he hangs out up in Utah where he lives, and I was just watching today, and they were going down this dirt road, and there's these Pony Express stops and posts, and he finds the coolest stuff, old mines and things out in the desert, I find his channel very interesting to watch, so I wanted to throw that one out there. Oh, and Angela M., I really enjoy her videos. I think that they're awesome. She's got a great eye for photography. I love her style, and also uh, she keeps it real. She really does. I, I really hope I get to meet her someday. She seems like a really cool chick. And who else? Okay, and so... There's a few new channels that I've been watching, and I really like catching channels when they're brand new because then you can kind of follow them and see how they progress through the years. One of them is called Southern Adventures, and they were actually kind enough to send me stickers, and I thought that was awesome. They're really well done. They're very cool, and they're going to make a great addition to my filing cabinet. I'm going to definitely put one on that. And then also I've been watching um, a guy named New Normatic, 
he's pretty cool. I really can't wait to see where his channel goes. And then another guy, his name is Nomadic Drifter. He's having a good time. He's um, brand new to the van life, and it's like he's been doing it forever. He's he's pretty comfortable with it. So, like I said, I'm really enjoying those new channels. And, um, yeah, if you want to check out somebody brand new, I highly recommend those three. Another channel that I've been subscribed to for a really long time, but somehow I, I end up missing a lot of their videos. So I've been making a point to go and finding him lately. It's called Sloan's... Um, wilderness expeditions and they went to Yosemite and then they went to Death Valley in the last couple of their videos and I just really enjoyed it he takes his son along and it's great to see um, these awesome places through the eyes of his son that I think is what I enjoy about that guy's videos the most but yeah it's it's well done I like his videos so another channel that I've been following for quite a while it's called live authentic live intentional and it's a lady that is in one of those big i guess it's class a i believe rvs and she was um camped out just in a parking lot you know doing some urban boondocking and a huge storm blew in it was rocking her rv she actually got knocked over stuff's flying everywhere the power goes out all around the city so it's pitch dark and she was afraid there was a tornado and then actually the next day she finds out there was indeed tornadoes in the area lots of damage but I really appreciated seeing how she handled it and how she got out of a bad situation um, so if you get a chance go check out those two videos or you know uh, subscribe to her channel and check them all out see what else have I been watching that I have really enjoyed um, it said I, I really can't name all of the channels that I watch there's just too many but um, I just wanted to go over a few of them with you guys in case you're also stuck in your house you know beating the heat this might give you something to go and you know check out some new channels maybe you'll like them as much as I do so anyway yep like I said I'm gonna go finish editing a video and probably get this up for you pretty soon and getting ready for a great trip next week I hope you'll follow along on that but Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you hanging out with me on this uh, very warm Saturday afternoon. Hope you're enjoying your air conditioning too. Y'all stay lost, my friends.